Tracy and her family agonized over moving her grandmother from the nursing facility in Boyle Heights where she had lived comfortably for four years, especially in the middle of a pandemic. But her grandma had suffered some bad falls and needed the extra care. Wait lists at KI Los Angeles Healthcare Center, a Lincoln Heights skilled nursing facility that was originally designed around the cultural needs of the Japanese American community, could get long. A staffer assured them that the facility was COVID-free and emphasized that a vacant bed would not last. So they packed her some new toothbrushes, her favorite pink floral print pajamas, a few treasured family photos and everything else they could think of. They squeezed out tearful goodbyes and promised to bring her home before her 106th birthday a few weeks later, on January 2nd. But days later, an outbreak of COVID-19 was announced. Weekly texts tallying the coronavirus precise advance through the center began to arrive, and every week the numbers doubled. In the month of December, 31 COVID deaths were reported at KI Los Angeles. Among them was Tracy's grandmother. It breaks our hearts because we don't know what her last weeks were like, Tracy said. We didn't know this was going on. We were told they were COVID free and we could visit twice a week. KI Los Angeles was one of 27 nursing homes participating in a little publicized county program that allows nursing facilities to volunteer to receive COVID patients from hospitals and other nursing facilities. At least 97 COVID deaths overall have been recorded at the center, making it the most deadly nursing home in the state, according to data compiled by The Times. Because contact tracing data are unavailable, it's impossible to know what exactly caused the outbreaks. But the nursing homes are used to back up overtaxed hospitals, and as ICU bed availability in Southern California hit zero in December, deadly outbreaks occurred at several designated centers. Three of the four most lethal outbreaks at nursing homes in the state were at these county-designated facilities, 61 have died at Rinaldi Convalescent Hospital and 57 have died at Grand Park Convalescent. The county-designated nursing homes represent 8% of skilled nursing capacity in the county but account for 18% of all deaths, according to a Times analysis. Relieving overtaxed hospitals and their exhausted staff is essential. But this policy has allowed for profit companies that run many nursing homes to volunteer their residents for the increased viral risk and profit that the transfers represent. Patients and doctors say they were never informed or consulted about KI's participation in the program. And many now are questioning the wisdom of a policy that relieved hospital crowding by placing the most vulnerable people at risk. Nearly a third of all COVID-19 deaths have occurred at nursing homes. Dr. Takeshi Matsumoto began 2020 with 15 patients at KI Los Angeles.